he's looking for at the moment. He just needs to have some solid items. He's going to pick up that stout shield, go back to the top lane. I let's, mean, even though he... Oh, even demons. Though he doesn't get demons! What? He wasn't ready for that. He got hit by Ignite as well as Fire Blast, and then the level 1 rocket, and the level 1... He's going to have real issues. U9. Not, okay, yeah, he does. He's, he pops the six charges. He's going to have open wounds available. The wall is up, and this time June is most definitely dead. One more poor swipe from U9. And the clockwork is down. Yep. Meanwhile, Ogre has a pair of dust, so September got to be very careful, especially... Ooh, they're going up shade. A shade? They've got enough damage with a rocket. The pump! Oh, oh the pick up from Demons! Threw him in range of the tower. Now try and body block him. So the Sentry Wars saw September. So they know September is there. June's moving down aggressively. And now Kaka. Oh, they, they okay. Can. They sentry the sentry. But Demons glimpses up. He's in range, so he can drag him back if he wants to. Ogre's also going to rotate over. So they look over towards the Rubik. Able to get that stun off. And U9, still actually having his open wounds available, can turn his attention over towards June, who tried to assault with a battery. Now he cogs up. There is no glimpse up to get him out of this. Crap, that thing is so many levels of cute. What the hell is this? Why is there so many things here? It's, I don't know, it's like the pow Powder Puff Girls or something like that, but in, do in like dog form. KP, easy rotate to mid. He was farming up the dire jungle and just like slipped himself into the mid lane. June, meanwhile, in the bottom lane, having a lot of trouble as well. No glimpse, kinetic field in two seconds. I think they have enough physical Let's damage. Oh, the, oh, the cogs. Uh, he's, he's got range. He's away. He, he's got... This be the reason why they're getting a ton of kills, right? It sounds right. Yeah. Mid lane's prepped up. Faith as well as Kaka would love to go on this one. Remember, it's that level 1 glimpse, so his range is... Well, it seems to be still quite good. Dragging back the OD. The wall is up. No imprisonment because he used it just before they started that initiation. And that is now the second death for the mid OD of CDEC. The yep. only lane which is working right now for CDEC is the top lane. They take the tier 1 tower, and Luna's getting some real decent farm. But they're going to need to change these lanes up, like, quite quickly. And bottom lane... Okay, U9 diving in very deep under that tier 1 tower looking for the kill. Gets it, yep, but, but loses his life. And that's a, a pretty big pickup for Ricky there, because that was a level 8 life slur that he just oh, got they're gonna get SCC. This is actually a fantastic rotation with the Eclipse. They just drag him back in with the Telekinesis. So the two cores, the two big cores of Newbie going down in the space of what have one. The sentry was too far the tree line, however, so they don't properly see September. They do find June. The wall is up from Kaka. U9 would love to move forward. They follow up with stuns, but supports TPing in at the moment. And U9 knows he has to bail out this one, especially when September has just ripped apart Kaka on the back line. Yep. KP, just being just being watched. He won't have this camp again. The Dire Observer that got planted blocks that camp from spawning. June, hook shot up, SCC is in the neighborhood, can he actually help out his teammate? A march to the machines to give him some cover, fire, axe, lets the call go, this will give him the armor, but the battery assault still ripping through him, the oh, is it enough, June needs to reach him in time, the battery assault wore off, KP making a break for the lane, he'll oh, get blocked up by the creamer, the spin, the dunk, KP will find the kill, the cock burn, almost killed him off, the Odys died as well, and now September who got dusted up, multicast, and ripped Apart by the Yoga, who gets the double oh kill God. out of all of that. KP, godlike survival. That was super lucky on KP. Of course, that infused raindrop blocking a bunch of that damage. Blocked the hook damage initially, and that last tick of burn damage, he only survived because he had the infused raindrop. Block 50 of that. And bottom lane, they're making a go here on Demons. Supports are coming in. Kinetic field giving vision. And Demons, there's nowhere really for him to uh, juke. Goodbye, nice June. Back. <laughs> yeah. You can't TP to the front towers when you're up against the Disruptor. The funny thing is, too, Disruptor probably wouldn't have done that if he had the vision. He would have just glimpsed back the Rubik anyway. Maybe they go for a kill, Cloud. Oh, Lifestealer would love it. There's your blink up for KP. Thanks to his survival. Oh! All right, tricks of the trade. The OD imprisonment, oh. not the greatest timing. June will still be able to lock him inside the cogs, but KP, ah, oh, they lose the beam. They have the damage. Lifestealer pops out, but the Eclipse, blinded by the moonlight. How did Clockwork get back? Okay, they, they need to they reveal. They need to put dust on KP if they're making that kind of rotation, because he's a he's the first one that's likely to break the smoke. And if he runs into Ricky there, it goes to your whole smoke. They find June instead. Blink. 
Oh, there's no call. The cogs will come up. KP didn't start off with a call. Which is what I thought he would do. Now Shade triggers the double damage room. That hook shot down to Live Stealer. You can try and armor toggle as much as you want to. At least he'll get himself away from the... Oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't get himself away from anything. The Eclipse takes out the Ogre. Unine's on the run. And his toggle will keep him up. KP's waiting for oh. another blink opportunity for September. Stayed right on the tail of the Live Stealer. It was really odd that the life Stealer did not... See, you see, it's just while they're doing their stack. No one's properly defending the mid. Shade just holding behind the tower. With Tinker always coming to the front lines. Where's that hook shot? Down into the river. They push Kaka out. He gets the ulti off. Thanks a couple of lucid beams and then goes down. And now the real Eclipse comes in. All of it hitting into the back of KP. Unable to escape and CDEC playing outside the range of March. The machine's finding Ember. So again, on the scouting. But he will walk underneath the sentry oh. board. So U9. Oh, observing his place as well. Yep, that's going to be gone. And September, the rage is up from U9. September, he can't get out of range. The wall was perfect from Kaka. So, the first real scout going with another 2.8k gold. Ready to spend. This is one very fat Luna. Uh, top lane, Kaka gets the wall down. Tricks of the trade. He's going to come out of it now. Still in the middle of the storm with the multicast. Ricky dusted up too, so he'll drop. Another kill going the way of Newbie. CDC though. No, or well, even better, you could blink Astral to Leisler, right? And then the Ricky puts a cloud on top of that. Oh, and KP. Then you him after. KP's gonna be the one they initiate in. June starts the hook off. That wonderful smoke screw in the back lines and the hook! He catches the two of them together! The control timing, the positioning was beautiful! No, that was a hook on. This is why KP doesn't want to go too far up. And I think this is the reason why KP needs to hold the dust and not... Okay, they, they find Jun. Blink, call, Blade Mal up. This clockwork, Axe cutting Blaze him down. So they got the bonus movement speed to try and find something. But September's already bailed. Essentially, all of the eggs into that Tinker Basket. Hopefully, it pays off for them. <laughs> oh, clockwork. Hook shots up. He finds the Live Stealer. And there's the Orca kicking in. So Live Stealer, unable to rage, unable to do anything. An interesting toss away from the rest of his team, but it threw him into the, it threw him into the cogs. Yeah. So if he came up, he would he would have actually been burnt out anyway. Now they jump up. Faith, another blink, orchid, and kill. Shade picks up a double kill. You know, this is my first time seeing the orchid build in action, but let's not forget though he got killed a couple of times. He's like, no, I'm gonna keep coming back in the lane, and he made it very difficult for for them to go on the tower. Faith just died the exact same Observer Ward. September's the one to initiate this time around, but that this Observer Ward right here, it scouted him out before. That was that second yeah. Orc. Rapier build. KP just blink, calls four staffs out. They push him a long way in, also with a four staff. Luna, the Aegis Immortal, but no, here's your Satanic going to work the Cogs, trying to actually catch out U9. They're in pretty deep, and there's your Eclipse. Two down for Newbie. Buyback is available for the Life Stealer. If they want to hold their racks, they may not actually need it. They glimpse back the clockwork, so June will get caught. Wait for the culling blade, hits the target right, and CDEC will bail. The buyback did right. come out from U9. I imagine he dropped for the ages. Yeah, the second the Aegis timed out, the courier was sitting right next to him with the Dragon Lance. Hence, no downtime with items. And now is CDEC like, okay, is this trade off time? Is this actually what we look at? With the with the effect of the Tinker, with all the split pushing, oh shade! Oh there's a lot of waves to march the machines. You'll have to BKB. The four staff down with the orc and hook shit up. Okay, they cash the Tinker. I was gonna ask you the question, like, what do you do? Do you try and go out there and stop the Tinker? Or do you go for a trade-off? And it seems uh, they're gonna take option A. Yep. Well, I, I think the option A made it pretty easy because they had a ward. Uh, right there and the anti-tinker were allowed to blink in for the Astro. Time to force that buyback. Oh wait, he doesn't have buyback. Uh oh. CDC could just get Raxus here now. That's problematic. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. KP's gonna look for the blink call, but demons! Perfect time, perfect positioning. 
Now it's KP who has to buy back. The Storm is out as well as the wall, but all does is minimal damage to June. He tanks through most of the demons. He'll go down. The Gem of True Sight's on the deck. No one's picking up just yet. They forced after Luna into the fight. Yeah. KP is looking for another hunt. Up to the top lane. September is the one farming it. So KP, Blade Mallory triggers, gets the call off. So one very dead Ricky Maru. You might actually get the Sour as well. Especially if Dyer is going for the Roche. Depends how the Buybacks currently not available to him. Just short a bit of gold, but he'll likely find it before he dies. Need to march up. Here comes June. Four staff will be able to get Faith back outside of the cogs. So June harassing the glimpse. They're gonna put him inside the storm with a call from KP. Culling Blade will find that. You might be able to steal the, the Berserker's call. Okay, that's not something he wanted. I think then at that point, just getting a raw stat item might be more beneficial for him. Mm -hmm. And that's when we looked at the Scotty. But while all this is going on, you're still like, like you're kind of capping out. Like the Luna has this, sure, she can she can change up later. She's already picked up the Moonshot. Whoop, hook shot again. June going on the Disruptor, and this time they bring him down. That gem needs to be regathered. Faith walks in close and four staffs up. Just worried about getting burnt by the cop. Raindrax is finally brought down. Flyby just slipped himself in through the mid. Well, they need to kill this ward. Oh, shot. Perfect. June hitting KP. They'll push him out with a four star, but right into the clutches of Flyby. He's still got his BKB up. KP will now buy back once again. Flyby turns on the BKB. It's a hard world for CDC to push, no doubt. Yeah. But every time they do, they. Like, there's more buybacks coming in, like KP, well that now is his fourth buyback of the game, or third buyback of the game. Hook shot, they catch U9 outside, and June once again, after initial hook shot, just jumps in deeper, setting up shade so he can pick up the triple kill. And that may be it, three heroes without buyback, and now they also isolate the Tinker. He has buyback available, but GG, well played. The call comes out from Newbie, and game one of this best of three, lower bracket final, will go the way of CDEC, ending with a rampage for Shade. Gave him a little stat buffer, pretty good.